Get in the gate. This is episode 69. 69. <laughs> Upgrades. This is the full Get Into Gate team here to talk Stargate SG1. My name is Mitch. Joining me, as always, Matty Gibson. Sup? Brendan Gibson. Hello. And Reese Gibson. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Where is he? Someone's running late and it's not Mitch. Da 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 he had Indian last night. Mm. Did he? What was his name? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. He's super racist. So I won't. Um, That's not racist. I mean, so all, all we can he swings assume, I anyway. Guess, is, um, I mean, I'd, I mean, I'd like to say we can push on without him, but I feel like that's making a pun. <laughs> He's actually pushing on himself. So we'll yeah. get into it. We are here to this talk. Might get loose. Episode three <laughs> upgrades. And oh, Reese, hey, oh, there up. we are, buddy. There we go. How's uh, the deuce? Sorry, boys, is taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thought so. Give it hell. Oh, Bite I, that bottom lip. Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> yeah. bleeding. Did you get my? Did you get my text? I sent you a text just saying <laughs> clench my lip. My lip is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clearing that Thank up. Yeah. Give it hell. Because <laughs> that there would be the difference between a restricted and a restricted. Tom Arnold comes yeah. in. Just, Jesus uh, Christ, boy! What, what did, did you, you eat? eat? <laughs> Since yeah. two weeks in a row with a Tom Arnold reference. <laughs> He's been Googling his shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've got one ready for True Lies next Roseanne. week. Roseanne! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Nah, he won't be on that. He no, won't. he was married to her. Yeah, that's why he won't be on the... Um, <laughs> Don't they, like, on the they're show. one of the most, like, hateful, spiteful, like, former relationships in Hollywood, right? Like... They think, loathe each other. I think Roseanne's like that with everybody, isn't she? Well, yeah. sure. She Except everybody. Trump. Except yeah. Trump, yeah. <laughs> so have her over for a dinner party. We're here to talk so, episode three upgrades. Sorry, guys. I missed the start. Just, what are we up to? <laughs> oh, we were just talking about how you're probably taking a shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You had Indian last was. night yeah. and you tasted good. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brendan made a joke about, oh, what was his name? Yeah. Oh, Taj. <laughs> And then I said I wasn't going to say a name because it'd be too racist, but then you just said it. You were there. Taj Mahal. <laughs> If you're joining us for the first time, we are, <laughs> we are sorry. <laughs> we always start with a bit of poo chat and then we rock straight into Stargate SG1. <laughs> poo chat. So, Reese. So, if you got the runs and you're in the gate room, <laughs> this is the podcast for you. Now, we've got a lot of old school listeners and we're like, well, you've actually done a few podcasts almost dedicated entirely to the idea of pooing through the yeah. Stargate. So, yeah. look, you know, it's, it's there. It's a theme. It's not going to be a theme. Just relax. Two yeah. runs to the embarkation room. The gate's open. Everyone's gone. And Hammond's like, they're already gone through there, mate. You shouldn't have been taking a dump. Hurry yeah. up and get in there. Hurry up. It costs a billion dollars to keep this thing open. <laughs> Run to the gate with toilet paper hanging off his shoe, you know. That's why he was late in this episode. <laughs> Talking right. upgrades, Reese. I know you probably missed oh, that. Oh, upgrades, yeah, no. <laughs> the one we need to record, yep. <laughs> All right, well, before we go over to Reese, our uh, new watcher, our rookie of the show, our uh, Pua pre, uh, pre show. <laughs> wow. I'm cutting that out, I just wanted to say. Just, um, <laughs> just laying it out there, eh? <laughs> We uh, do we do uh, revert back to the DVD, which is how uh, at least a couple of us on the show are watching it, to see what the synopsis has in store for this week. SG-1 is selected to test the effects of, in air quotes, alien tech. I don't feel like that's, that's <laughs> not the out there enough. Yeah. But anyway, mm. alien tech military wristbands on human wearers and soon find themselves blessed with spectacular strength and speed. But... When they are sent on a mission utilising these new abilities, they learn a shocking lesson about the downside of power. Bum, bum, bum. Hell right. Written by David Rick. Rich. David Rick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's R-I-C-H, so you're probably safe in saying Rich. I thought there there's was no, another there's no syllable on the end of it. Although, uh, and uh, um, directed by <laughs> M. Wood. M. Wood. The M. Wood. A little bit of trivia, though, on the writer. Um, apparently... Who would have thought, like, you, you, you stumble on the name and you've immediately got trivia ready to go. Like, <laughs> this is the sort of shit I'm it's like, it sounds gear. like they've planned, like, half-written yeah. jokes. No, we don't uh, plan shit. Yeah, I, I don't plan going to the toilet to miss the start of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> and we, who would have thought? We're actually doing poo gags and you walk in and go, sorry, I've just been to the bathroom. It's like, yeah. but you were yeah. getting a drink in the kitchen. That wasn't my words. Don't put no. words in my mouth. No, I'm sorry. I said I was just doing a shit. Yeah. Put something else in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, Let's zing. not think of Taj until after, okay? <laughs> um, so, 
Apparently, Brendan's mate, Robert C. Cooper, did a complete... No, my mate's Pete. <laughs> Apoff. Apoff. Uh, Robert C. Cooper did a complete rewrite on this episode. Um, <sighs> the actual finished product. Good. But apparently, according to right, <laughs> uh, because of uh, oh, this is going to be such a loose episode. Writers Guild uh, standards means that David Rich had to get the um, the credit. No, so good it's on him. Technically, written by Rob C. Cooper. Uh, it's like last time when Catherine Powers' episode got rewritten, and he's like, "I don't understand why I got Ooh, the credit." I and yeah. I mean, I just rewrote it, but I don't want. To I mean, it wasn't it. Cooper, but that one, but <laughs> Cooper, bloody Cooper. So it was. Yeah, don't try and make... like This is one of the best episodes of Stargate. Don't put Cooper on this. <laughs> Mitch, you mentioned before that a couple of us are watching the DVDs. Well, guess what, guys? I've got the whole series on DVD. Oh, oh wow. Well. One of us. One yeah. of us. Yeah. Gobo, gobo, one you. of us. Thank you. <laughs> so I believe this is the first ever series I've got on DVD. Actually, I've got Heroes and Prison Break. But, but no, this is a, there are only this three this or four series. Yeah, okay, so this is That's the true. first good show you've got yeah. Yeah. on a complete DVD right. series. Really? Yep. Actually, wow. it was for me too, but that was like 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah. so Back I'm just catching cool. up. Back when, it was yeah, cool. so... Back when it was $80 a pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you get it for? God. Nine? Yeah, it was uh, the 20 bucks each, but you buy two, get one free. So yeah. nice. 160 for all 10. Have you got season six for Plus three. a couple of seasons <laughs> of uh, Atlantis. Nice. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. That won't be coming out of the wrapper anytime soon, though. No. No. You'll actually you'll need to stay away from them all because there'll be some serious uh, spoilers. Spoilers, even just on the covers. Yeah, it's bullshit. Right. So yeah, <laughs> don't look at anything past season five. Nothing past season right. five. We yeah. should probably confiscate them. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I've bought them. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to own them for three years, yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drip feed you them, <laughs> just uh, like your couch. Yeah. You won't own that. Imagine that if you did like an interest-free payment. <laughs> what? And they wouldn't give oh, you Oh, but you couch. didn't get the couch until you actually <laughs> paid it off. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> so you got a milk crate Like a car. <laughs> you, you pay off your car for five years, yeah. but you don't actually get it until you've paid yeah. it off. That would suck. And you, you'd smash it the first day you got it too. <sighs> Absolutely. I would. Jeez. Yeah, cool. So, Reese, you are watching this episode for the first time. Upgrades. I think we've teased this episode back in the past, the idea of them you know, quote unquote, getting superpowers. Um, mm. What do you think? Because this is like, you know, we've seen some far out alien shit, but like this is happening to real life humans here. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Uh, the the whole superhuman thing, the the boxing makes a comeback. But <laughs> God, I hate the Tokra. Yeah, in particular, don't let that Anise. spoil the episode. She was an absolute whore. I hate. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's um... like, oh, but man. what about them titties? Oh, hey, <laughs> good hey. I can like Maddie was going. I'll save Maddie of that one. Maddie referred to Seven of Nine from Star Trek Voyager, mm. and she does the same. She does well. She doesn't get him out like a niece. She should, no. but but there's curvature and this, definitely curvature. And this oh, is absolutely. like her least like. Revealing? Revealing yeah. outfit. It's funny you mentioned uh, Seven of Nine because that's what this was a direct correlation to. I was trying to. to save you one. Well, no, I've just, I've just got a bit of audio, that's Any all. Any of this go to air? Yeah, it's all going to air, mate. It's all going to air. Yeah, this was uh, during a time during the show where we were trying to bump up the ratings. We took uh, we were taking our cue from uh, Seven of Nine, uh, uh-huh. thinking that that might help hey, the show. And in it. fact, the show didn't need help. It no. was it was perfectly fine the way it was, yes. and, and we didn't need half-naked, really hot... Skilled actresses walking around uh, trying to keep our interest. They were directly between um, Anise and Shonok next episode. They were directly trying to bump up their ratings in the same way getting Seven of Nine in a, in a cat suit uh, walking around um, mm. gave, gave Voyager a boost. Uh, if I refer to the good old illustrated companion, uh, there's actually an interview with uh, Samantha. This is a bit interesting. There's an interview. With... <laughs> We're all thinking it. <laughs> Audio books with Maddie. Look at that. If you I'll tell you what, next, open... from next week, I'm getting some music to put yeah, on this. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I've been asking for a box of shame opener for months, so I haven't got that. But I bet you we'll get that early. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that's fun. So there's a, an interview in the back of this book with Amanda Tapping. And she actually talks about how much she hates the Anise character. Ooh. Um, yeah. So, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Am I, like, is there a bit of sisters action going on oh, here? I a, so. Oh, I hate the character. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, the actress well, is fine. You guys, you guys see what she's got to say and uh, make up your own minds. Mm. 
Fiercely protective of the show and loathe to proffer any negative thoughts about it, Tabak admits she hasn't always been so enamoured with the producers and writers' tack regarding women on Stargate SG-1. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, Displaying the honesty and openness for which she is famed, Tapping begins, Let me preface this by saying that Vanessa Angel is a wonderful, smart woman and was tremendous to work alongside. But. But. but, (laughs) What's that saying about everything before the word but doesn't actually count? Yeah. But I am glad the character Anise went away. One of the Ooh. things which has always made me proud of our show is is that for so many years we've never resorted to overtly sexual tactics to get people to watch Stargate. Says was she in the, the American flag. Yeah. Come on. Was it that bad though? <laughs> like I don't think there was a um, lot of cleavage there. And it's not like there. all oh, of mate, a sudden episode, every oh, female. Oh yeah, the next one is well. Next episode there's a lot and then her third episode next. I think it's they get I think they did a, like a shot specifically so you looked at her boobs. Yeah. And it's and and she's just <laughs> no, I'm not even like mate, like could, over the oh, shoulder like, down. No, I get it. Angled cleavage shot. But then, mm. especially, you, mate, you could do. A, mate, I paused it. I know. You could <laughs> you could do a far scene, and I'd still be looking. At her. <laughs> but even when the guys like first meet up, they're suddenly like all the blood flows straight to their dicks. Yeah. You may call me Anise. Anise. It means noble strength. Um, I'm Daniel. It means uh. I want to. You. God is my judge. In Latin. <laughs> I'm Jack. It means... <sighs> What's in the box? As as Anu would say, it's such a cliche because it's like she walks through and they're both googly-eyed over her. Yeah. They do this weird thing where Anise, the Gua world, has a thing for Daniel, um. but Freya, the host, has a thing for Jack. So yeah. they're playing mm. this weird love triangle. And then, like, at the end of the episode, she just goes away and you never see her again. Like, it's... I think that's why I can't... There's an absolute for you. <laughs> yeah, I think the bit that got me the most was... Was it Daniel? They go, oh, I'm, oh, I'm getting sick of the toker, blah, 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 blah. Like, this big stance that he had just so that when Anise walked through, he could go... Yeah. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. That just felt like it was so forced, that, that part. Like, I don't even mind the idea, the, the love triangle thing. It's like, that's unnecessary as well, but... I feel like that was a little bit more subtle than just the, oh, all of a sudden Daniel's really passionately negative about something and then, oh my God, woman. Yeah. You know, that he's never going to have sex with, obviously, because his wife's dead. So why does he have a need to have sex with anyone else anymore? (laughs) Even that Jack Jack really doesn't like Tokra, like, he he shouldn't have any interest in... He's not. I I don't think he is interested. He's interested in her, not the Tokra. No, but like, she she even says, like, oh, I hope, look forward to seeing working with you again he's like okay sure sounds good yeah I guess we'll talk about it more in Divide and Conquer I guess yeah um, that, that aspect of it but um, yeah I'm just hmm, yeah I wasn't wasn't a huge fan like if it went somewhere like we're, oh, we've actually well me in particular I've been getting a lot of um, I'm noticing a lot of correspondence from a lot of listeners about how much crap we give Joel and um, and we'll pay that off in, in Divide and Conquer as well and one of the reasons why I think we all kind of don't like the Joel and our storyline so much and I think it's the same with Anise's. It just doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere. Like mm. comes up here as well. I would have. I would have. Ru- oh, convenient. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I still have a protein marker left by Jolinar. Hopefully, that will have no effect. Of course, it won't because it always has up mm. until now. But now that yeah. we need you to yeah. have this, script. <laughs> because yeah. script you like can use a ribbon device because Jolinar. Yeah. But it won't affect anything else. Yeah. What? Are, yeah. I know what you mean. Before, because she snatches it off Jackson, right? And she goes, I think. I think Jolinar's Jolinar seen one of these before. These are. Oh, gee. I didn't notice so, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. that's as soon as you said, it, I'm like, of course she has. Like, you haven't mentioned Jolinar in how many episodes? Mm. Yeah, and all of a sudden, well, Jolinar knows. I've got good news for you, Reese. Is this season they kind of wrap up Jolinar and we don't hear about her again? Right. Almost ever. I think she's mentioned once yeah. in like season nine. That's or the 10. that's the main reason I don't like Joel and I is because it's a convenience thing, not because it's an actual point in yeah. any storyline yeah, kind of ever. Like a trope. Well, and I think they realise from a writing point of view as well because uh, Selmac and Jacob become so popular. It's like, well, we don't need to rely on Sam um, thinking she knows something when we can just call up her dad and he's got an actual toker in yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I can confirm. Yeah. Yes. Or, you know, it would have been cool if they had have just given her Joel and I's memories. They, there they are. Yeah. You have access to all of them, so then she would be an expert. Maybe in an episode called Joel and I's Memories. Absolutely. That would have been great. Just, yeah. and Perfect if only they had a, If only they had a, a device that could access like the memories yeah. and maybe just <laughs> unlock, unlock all those memories so she's always got them. <laughs> that, that is... Was, 
It Ooh. is crazy. Like we're in episode three of season four. Jean and I was introduced to as what episode two of season two. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a long mm. time, and they haven't to yet. do nothing. She's been really. irrelevant mm. for nearly that entire time. It's just something they bring up to yeah, do stuff. She's... Or in here, they bring her up to shut it down. Like, yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. they like, use it as at an the same time. Break Carter. If if they just overlooked that, and then we come in to do this podcast, and go well, hang on. Why would she, if Tilt can't do it because of his symbiote? Why would she be able to do it? She's got the genetic marker. Like we would be asking that question. Mm. So I'm glad they did bring it up, but then it oh, just yeah. reminds you that it's annoying that they yeah. can bring it up just to I shut mean, it, it was down again. Joel and yeah. us. Joel and us prominent enough that she has to say hey to Nareem we can't go any further because I don't yeah. know his feelings I'm feeling yeah. and like, then either make it something or piss it off don't yeah. just have it lingering like oh here's another thing we have to explain yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it more in Divide and Conquer because I think that's when it really comes to a point um, and we can talk about some more stuff without spoiling it for Reese but this is the first but... Tokra IDC that they've got because remember it was uh, with I think it was Braytac it was IDC, special, special IDC. Special code two or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Was it an IDC or was it a, a transmission? Well, that's what an IDC is. They transmit a code through the Stargate. Yeah, yeah. But I think it was Hammond said something to Carter or Daniel or one mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. And he, he said some line and Daniel goes, what does that mean? And he goes, I don't know. That was the transmission from the Tokra. Oh. So I assumed that it was a, a an audio well, transmission. Well, there was the... Um, there was the I'm pretty sure it was Walter who said Joker IDC. Yeah, Joker IDC. Right. Just... And then Jack was like, they're starting to really annoy me or something. Anyway, do you recognize Anise, Reese? From um, anywhere? Vanessa he Angel? D- he no. didn't see her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got a face. I Maybe this re- might remind No, I didn't recognize those girls from anywhere. Of a show we used to watch. <laughs> <laughs> of a show we used to watch in the 90s, 1994. Make man? No. Woman. Woman. Uh, uh, uh. Too much yeah. I wish we were filming the look on Rick's face. Oh, <laughs> so weird confused. science. And watch this. Totally. Is that her? Yeah, yeah that's, that's her. her. Oh man! It's the TV one. Not the when TV I was one. young, when did this come out? Ninety-four. Yeah, I would have been seven years old. I was whacking it to her then. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, it's so funny they made that TV series after the movie. Like, and that TV series is obviously targeted towards kids. Because yeah. the movie really wasn't. It was like. Sexy. It was pretty. You know, it was a pretty sexy kind of movie. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh man, I. Hey, I used to watch the shit out of that show. Oh, I remember, like, what, 90, what, what year did you say? 94. 94. So I was eight when the show came out. I was probably yeah. watching a year or two after. But I remember that was, like, one of my first, like, yeah. TV or movie, like, crushes. Like, yeah. when I was a kid. Like, I watched that show oh. and I just knew, that's a beautiful woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard she... about these things called yeah. beautiful women. Yeah. And this is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> she come out of that computer, I'm just like, woo. <laughs> Where do I get me a program like this? Yeah, absolutely. That's when we became nerds. Yeah. <laughs> just love sci-fi. Like, I'm going to dedicate my life to science fiction. Just sitting at home. <laughs> just sitting at home, tapping your enter key, waiting for it to yeah. appear. All I've got is my floppy disk. Yeah. And... Suddenly it's a hard drive. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so uh, a couple of good moments from uh, episode upgrades. The bloody boxing. Makes a, a little comeback. Yeah, Tilk that and was nice. O'Neill, that was so lame. Come on, uh, come on, Tilk. Come on, give it, give it to me. He's like, I'm you know, trying. I'm trying. You're too. Fi- I'm like, attempting to hit you. O'Neill. You are not. You're clearly not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just goes to show you can't. You can't make Tilk look shit. Like you yeah. can't. In, you can't intentionally try and make him look like he's because it just doesn't work. Yeah. Like you, you, they you could have at least not. tried to make Tilk do like a good boxing set, like. Yeah, because I'm, yeah. I'm watching fast. like, oh, so clearly, like, Jafar don't know how to box. That's yeah. fine. Like, yeah. they just don't know how to fight with their hands. Like, yeah. it's all about shooting. And, yeah. and then well, next O'Neal... week in Crossroads, you see him cut loose. So I don't think he's he takes really... out like yeah, right. six Tokra. <laughs> yeah, like, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, last week on the other side, when they when they go that full fighting scene oh, uh, right underground, Carter and um, Tilt go ape shit. 
Oh, Carter did well. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, we should have right. talked about that. Like, about she, that. like, a guy coming out with that weapon and she, like, almost black widows him and then just <laughs> ends up with the gun and <laughs> yeah. it's just like, where the hell yeah. has this been? Yeah, where was this in Emancipation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she learnt that from the Mongolians. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was also thinking, why the hell did... O'Neill knows that he's fast and strong. Why did he punch Tilk in the face? Like, go body shot, man. <laughs> like, just knock his yeah. head off his shoulders. This seems Broken new and jaw. uncontrollable. I'll go straight for the head. <laughs> <laughs> straight for the kill shot. Was... I mean, like, Tilk's kicked his ass how many times? Yeah. He's just oh, getting yeah, one Jack back. Oh, yeah, Jack secretly loved it. Like, he and with that hurt more, like, like if you get punched it. in, like, in your apophis symbol, yeah. Mark, Marker. Like yeah. you're punching molten sort of. Like yeah. gold I have a feeling if you punched him in the liver, he would not. He would not recover. If he'd punched him in the oh, liver, but if you punch him in the brain, if he punched, if he punched him fine. in the liver, Tilk would have been that box, boxing bag. He would have gone straight into the pouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just, <laughs> just obliterated Junior. So that was the only safe place. Yeah, yeah but you I can't love, feel I love the emblem. how the three of them kind of went their own way. It's like mm. Jack was all about being the macho. Oh, ten times human strength. Oh, right. So no increase there. Yeah, um, that's good. Meanwhile, just looking at her, go, yeah, yeah. 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 What's up? No, then, nothing. Like, He's like, damn it. The thing Daniel's getting. <laughs> he's excited about he's like I can read really fast yeah. Yeah. but I like when he couldn't like Jackson oh that was great I, I, yeah. that line he's like he goes, did, you, did you just read that book he's like sure do you uh, have another book that explains that book <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. and then and Daniel's like Phew. And then you see him like, it's yeah. like he's actually doing that Trying without the effect. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then and he's then like, the God last, damn it. The last three where he kind of like tilts his head as well and then it just gives yeah. up. And I'm, yeah. Brilliant. That was really, brilliant. Good. that was really good. That was really good. And then Carter was all about seeing in the dark. And, and writing her book. Writing she was like book. just down into the science going, oh my God, I'm writing this thousand word book on... Um, they do something similar in Atlantis where, where McKay gets re- really smart, but he's got like five computers <laughs> and he's yeah. going bang, bang, bang. Well, waiting for that one funny because when up. she was yeah. typing, I'm like, well, she surely she'll be typing faster than those words are appearing. And then she stops typing and they keep going. I'm like, well, that sorts that's that cool. out. <laughs> that's cool. No, no, no. She says that. So that's this good. is now, Brennan, you're an IT guy. So explain this to me. Uh. She's, she's, she's typing on <laughs> He's the... He's not on the job, man. Come yeah. on. <laughs> she's typing on the, um, the laptop. Mm. And then she says to Janet, oh, she has to stop because the buffer gets full and she has to wait for it to catch up. So that's why the words were still running because she'd already typed that five minutes ago. Mm. How does she know when the buffer's full and it's yeah, not accepting right. her mm. typing anymore? Well, there's CPU I think trial usage and error. if you have a... But I'm not sure if they had that in 2000 mm, as well. There was some mm. little information-y classified yeah. bits up the top there and stuff. So, yeah, if that was in there, then... And I'm sure the, the RAM that they had wasn't any more than... In the nineties, no. Well, if, if you disc. look, yeah. if you look at when they uh, when they find out about, if we jump to the end, and when they, when they find out about Apophis's ship and stuff being built, and they all three of them will get pushed into that room again, and they go to find out about it, it's on the laptop. Mm. You see the dodgy old laptop that's on there that's still plugged in, <laughs> yeah. and she's got to reach no around. Wi-Fi. She's got to reach around <laughs> to the back of it to turn it on. <laughs> oh, I thought she was plugging in the internet cable. No, she was because t- at, oh, wow. at first I That's thought funny. they'd cut it a bit where she'd maybe like palmed a USB device that had no, yeah. no, they wouldn't have had a USB device in 2000 that would have, you know, yeah, jumped yeah, all yeah. that on. So, no, that's where the on switch was. It was all the back in between all those cables, <laughs> is how she was turning the laptop on. The um, they would have still had um, internet over the phone line, right? Yeah, dial up. Yeah. So, when when <laughs> um, Hammond calls the president, Carter's just like, General. I'm on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to look at pictures of a niece. Having, having, <laughs> having picks up the red phone to the president. Don't you think that told prob- you get off that internet. <laughs> if they could only dial one thing, they could either, either dial using the internet or dial with the gate. And yeah. it's just like... <laughs> Can you get off that? I need to make a call. Uh, to I the think- Knox. SG7's like trying to get back. They're like life-threatening situation. <laughs> and like Walter's just online playing games yeah. and shit. Tilk's looking at For any of our board. younger <laughs> listeners, you may not know what we're talking about. No. no. Yeah. But Daniel does, <laughs> Daniel does make a joke about it in, later in the season in Serpent's Venom where he goes... Uh, he's bringing all these books and Jack makes a joke, oh, do you think you've got enough books? He's like, oh, sorry, they didn't have ancient Phoenician at, you know, archaeology.com. Or yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's their sponsor of the week. <laughs> Another little um, part I liked was when um, Buddy O'Neill walks past Sila and says g'day to him, oh, nudges man. him and he yeah. pushes him off the I was watching stairs. this with my kids and we had to rewind that 10 times. <laughs> oh, really? Because they <laughs> lost it. Well, well, that scream, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like it's really so played good. for comedy, and then all of a sudden it's like, no, this guy's really hurt. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. laying upside down on the stairs. This is this is the downside of of wearing that that wrist device, and you're like, 
oh, hang on, I actually rewound it myself. I'm like, because initially when I saw, hey, so nah, I'm like, oh, it's going to cut there. And yeah. so I was expecting a comedy scene and I had to go back and watch it with the mindset that it's mainly played for drama. Yeah. But it was really cool. <laughs> yeah. And then the, um, the, the soldier that in the fatigues with the little beret on that comes up to help him, that's the director, Martin Wood. That's yeah. his cameo that he put in. Because nice. they like to nice. put uh, Major Wood and Sergeant Siler together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And and it is, it does start. I think that's when it starts to go. Oh, this is serious now, guys. We have to take this serious. And that's when bloody wet blanket Janet comes in. <laughs> Wasn't she such a bummer in this? Oh, well, what else is new? Way. <laughs> I know. Well, I the see, whole overall sort of forced thing, but you know, between her and her niece was a bit, a bit got a bit catty. Yeah, and I yeah, was like, yeah, oh, yeah. they. No, I didn't mind that. Like I, well, I get Janet being like protective of the team. Mm. But I feel like she lost a little bit of her professionalism that she normally has. Yeah. Well, these are the people I'm responsible yeah. for. Uh. Yeah, and she's just... always like that. But <laughs> 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 this yeah. time I was like, because Anise just Sandra's mum. Anise, <laughs> oh god, I'm yeah. Sandra. someone's yeah. mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anise bugged the shit out of me, man, and yeah. I was like, I, I just, I, have, I, I couldn't look stand past her. That. Spoiler so alert, <laughs> she doesn't get any better. So when and Fraser did that, I'm just it's like... The, it's the Tokra so one. Like, I don't mind Anise, it's her... No, Anise is the Tokra. Yeah. Oh, I don't Freya's, mind the host. Freya's the host. Mm. Freya? Yeah. I thought that was the name of the... No, it's Freya and it's Frey. Close then. Frey. 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 the bloody... Sneak out at night to the bar. Oh God! I like go that. And remember a few that room? Is. I think I think it is the same as the one in Ergo, where they're sitting in that room. Oh yeah, it's when the they're same, in lockdown. Yeah, it's the same multi-purpose room. Oh yes. right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I like. It was funny because it cut to that scene, and all I could think of was boring. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely shade of grey. <laughs> yeah, like uh, when they got to the restaurant and. He's ordering food, and it, it already feels like he's really going out. Like, we have three of the biggest steaks you got. Like, yeah. go and go and kill a mammoth mm, yeah. and put yeah. it on a plate. Rare. And she walks away. He's like, "Excuse me." And I thought he was going to throw out some kind of like weird sleazy pickup line. <laughs> just where she he looks at her and she looks at him. He's like, "That's just for me." And I'm yeah. like, "Oh yeah, that's right, that's <laughs> right." Um, Did and you notice hungry. though that they mentioned how how high was that wall? Twenty feet? I think more like thirty. Mm. So they. Yeah, what was that? I always remembered them jumping over a huge wall, but obviously that was just dialogue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was it, the same. But it paints a picture. Yeah. I don't get it. When they're oh, at the, the restaurant, pr- where they're saying, how high was that wall that we jumped over to get away from the oh, SGC? Oh, the perimeter, yeah, right. Yeah. This is my favourite bit, though. You want to go double or nothing? Oh, I think I'll cut my losses. Smart move. What are you laughing at, you geek? <laughs> yeah. Just 35 years of just pent-up frustrations. Excuse me? Coming out right now go. for Danny Boy. Go. No. Easy bit. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? <sighs> no, that was the same as the Four Eyes gear, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, this is a cliche. <laughs> okay. Hey, good some music. Yeah. And then the cutaway, so they don't have to worry about messing up the set. Yeah. That was a that was a that was a real restaurant that mm. they actually sort of did up and turned it into a bar and restaurant. I actually had the address and I was gonna send Lincoln there when he was over there a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah. But when I sent him all the stuff, he's like, Oh dude, my flight leaves in like three hours. So he's like, I can't get <laughs> But I can go stuff. grab a quick so you've steak. Got time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get so you're telling steps. me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get why he called him a geek though. Because he's a geek. Because he's a geek. Yeah, but <laughs> he wasn't wearing glasses. He right? wasn't. He didn't have a bloody pen in his top pocket, like yeah, like and he usually does. They even say that, like a lot of the because the, the way he said commentaries it. and stuff. Good choice. <laughs> well, that's what that's what they <laughs> was it. My tooth all of a sudden. <laughs> my teeth. It was about that. That's um. That's what a lot of the creators You've say got a lot. Something between your teeth. <laughs> my dick. Oh, it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> how, how one of the guys that um, one of the guys that uh, came up to stand beside O'Neill, he looked like Lurch. Yeah, he was like probably seven foot tall, but his shoulders were straight, and they turned yeah. into his arms on a corner. Yeah, like he looked like a Lego figure, and he was wearing a suit. 
Like oh, yeah, everyone okay. comes up and they're wearing yeah. like a t-shirt or like a flannel. They call shoulder something. pads, Mitch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, we're in the two thousands, man. The shoulder pads were a decade ago. Come on, and he just comes up. Just, Hello. He's like, oh, isn't this I'm a sure, cliche? I'm sure if we went back, we'd find him in the background of some group shot of Jafar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, oh, like, for this sure. Massive Jafar oh, guy yeah. in the background somewhere yeah. with shoulder pads, and I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when they go through the gate, when they've got the the, the gauntlets on, and then they knock all over those Jafar. I'm pretty sure I've mm-hmm. seen those Jafar. In previous episodes, oh, yeah, the cool. guys in the actors. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, yeah. if you the go costumes. back and you see, yeah, see the that dude. I bet she's probably Jafar. And yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Turns mm. out that um that whole setup, that gate, the whole gate and the steps and that whole thing was CG. So they mm. didn't actually have even have the rubber gate on set for that. Yeah, that whole thing was, was oh. CG. So the puddle, the gate, and the steps and everything, because you didn't really see anyone go in and out of it, because it was all done in the ultra speed thing. Yeah, yeah. So they went bugger it. We'll just do it all in, do in it all. CG. Yeah, they did a clean slate pan, and then they put the Jafar in, and then they they have these mechanisms. They're kind of like a slingshot or a, a mouse trap. They they pack it down, and the guy oh, the stands ramps, on it. Yeah, and then they hit the button, and they fly off. It's like oh, all right. catapults them into the sky. And then the next frame they do, they got stunt doubles coming in and running through, and then they sped them up. When they when they go through the gate and start beating them up, yeah, yeah, right. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can, I don't know, can you look at the special features on his DVD yet? Because <laughs> I think there's some. Oh, you guys, uh, yeah, maybe season, season I think, one through four, he's fine. I think at the end of this season, you can go back and watch the special features. <laughs> you can go, spoilers. I mean, you, you can, oh, you can actually watch some amazing stuff, and we've alluded to it where it's uh, Hammond and Fraser. In character, oh, in- God. introing little special yeah. feature cuts. Oh, God. It's some of the hammiest actors <laughs> you'll ever see in your entire but actually, life. I it's, remember it's like paying the, it out. You're the you're the camera is you, and you're like this new SG intern, basically. <laughs> oh, right. And Fraser's <laughs> doing like your um in uh, not indoctrination, induction. Your, your induction. But Hammond's all like, oh. Is, has that private got clearance, bro? And she's like, <laughs> "Yes, sir. He's fine." Bro. Uh, oh, it's they seem it's harmless. Like, it's like when um, God. it's like when Hammond's telling Jack, "Get the hell out of my office." The hell out of like my it's office. just so weird seeing him emote. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Like a different look on his face and annoyed. I'm like that's it. That's just sound. It looks uncomfortable. It's just so frustrated. And then and later abnormal. on, when he gets off the phone after the bar fight, he's like, "I didn't think it was supposed to make him stupid." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I tell you damn, what, t- t- damn teenagers. When they did sort of go off world to take down that um, that ship, if there was one time Daniel was ever going to rock the do rag, <laughs> it was then. But the what does he do? Do-rag. He gets the black floppy hat. I know. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You're not a really? geek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has it hanging off at the oh. end. But I think this is the first appearance where Tilk rocks up of the black SG1 uniform. That's the first black. Oh, oh, was he in full he uniform? He was in full was uniform with yeah, the Yeah, I suppose because the last the time patches. we saw him in full black was what? the end of season one, but they were oh. they had no patches and they were just kind of. Yeah, in... it's kind of like they were renegade. Rocked up on the ship. Yeah. Right. Because right I thought, end. man, at, in the embarkation room, I was like, no, nah, that's just a black shirt. Yeah, but no, once, but he, went off, once he went off world, off he had world, a, yeah, yeah, he had the full oh. black jacket. And later on in yeah, like nice. season seven, eight, nine, and ten, they they rock that black one well, and is this pretty the, heavily. Is this the first time they've alternated costumes as well? Because when the three of them, when Ahman tells them to take off the armbands and they can't, O'Neill and Jackson are wearing oh, like yeah. black shirts with green fatigues, and Carter's wearing a black shirt with blue fatigues. Yeah, is this the yeah. first time they start alternating I think the? Because so. I only say that because that'll be a joke in like season six. <laughs> um, <laughs> How do we know? But, yeah. <laughs> And what a benefit that outfit would have been for Tilk to have popped out of the Stargate in yeah. broad fucking daylight wearing black. <laughs> in the middle of a field. So it's just this like black silhouette running against a green right. field and a blue sky. <laughs> yeah. Like for like a what, two, three hundred meter field yeah. in front of him. Like, yeah. There's literally nowhere to hide except black underneath. Yeah. yeah. yeah I did it's actually, not nighttime. <laughs> was it when, uh, when they went to run back to the gate and Tilk took the lead and he goes to go up to the DHD and one of the Jafar is like coming to and just like <laughs> yeah. sitting up. And as soon as he wakes up, just, exactly. yeah. just shoots him again. Yeah. That's a great bit yeah. of comedy. I would have loved like, it if he nope. had good. kicked him in the face instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, so good. Um, right in the teeth. The scene in the. Uh, in the right med- in the my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> in the my teeth. <laughs> um, in the scene in the medical bay where um, O'Neill throws the little the little wrapper mm. into the thing and does the three. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we all know how that was shot. Like he would have thrown it out of frame and they kind of someone was just there in front of the camera. Dropped no, he did it for real. 
It's in the illustrated guide. <laughs> well, it's in the audio commentary, so no, he didn't. He nailed it. Um, but even though they did it that way, the cheat way, it still took 11 takes. Oh, really? The dude to, like, really? It, Evil Kenny, the props master, was hovering over the camera just trying to drop that bit of saran wrap into the into the beaker. Yeah. Still took him 11 takes to I feel get like it right. 15-year-old Brendan and I would have at least now it in nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wouldn't, call him, wouldn't call him a prop master. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing boxer shorts at it. Yeah. So, oh, nice. That, that, that took a long time, yeah. <laughs> so, Apophis' new ship, um, I mean, does that ever come back into it? Or is it just sort of like a... They blew it up. Say it, say it all together. <laughs> and, and we never see it again. again. You know, I know they blew it up, but I'm thinking... Apophis has just created this massive new ship. Like, surely that won't be the only thing he creates if he's got the. Obviously, it is. No. If he's got the, <laughs> if he's got the technology to do it. But I'm like, Look, Apophis all... was nowhere to be seen. They get to this ship just to blow it up. It's the first time we hear about it. Last time we hear about it. Yeah, but you might as well do something really cool with those gauntlets. Yeah. Yeah, but did they have to make it a massive ship? That well, the way you lay that out, that actually does tie in because about halfway through the season. Um, we do see a new a new Guawuld style of ship, so I right. guess this almost does lay the lay the groundwork for that. Yeah, okay. So, fair enough. Yeah, then. Uh, that was my question. Apophis is definitely yeah <laughs> building is because obviously yeah all the all the guards guarding it were the Sokar Jafar. Yeah, I did notice they got the Apophis emblem, but they're still wearing the Sokar uniform the now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the serpents are red. Serpent helmets are red. Oh yeah, the whole armor. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah they sort of put that red mm. red tinge on it. Hey, um. We do have to say goodbye to somebody that's, uh, <gasps> that was in this episode. Amy, Schum- Amy Schumer. Poor man Sarah Silverman. Oh. It's her last episode. Oh, I don't even remember seeing her. She no. jumped into Walter's chair at yeah. one point. Uh, very cool. I remember Get that. out. Because yeah. that's what I remember I'm back, thinking. Baby. Get yeah. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your chair. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of uh, Walter's chair. You ironically, um, credited as Technician Davis. Even though we've got really? her. Oh, is she? Yeah, so she could be Walter's wife. You never know. Maybe she, that's, oh, why they're oh, that's why she had to she's leave. She's on maternity yeah. leave. That's oh. why she left, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They revealed it and they're like, well, you can't work at the strict, same yeah, yeah, good call. base. Yeah, they can't. That's why Walter hasn't been here for a while because he's like, oh, I'll let my wife have a go. And mm. Then she can retire and I'll, I'll go. work on my parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> my coat hook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Work your way out, Walter. And then, you know, they made up after he got Chevron pregnant. Yes. So um so now so now she's pregnant and boom, that's how he gets his two boys. With Chevron yeah. three. Yeah. It's Chevron three. I like it how Anise comes in and goes, Oh, we've just discovered that Apophis is building a new style of mothership and Hammond's like just discovered. He yeah. went full general on her. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I when, loved it. I know when I'm being manipulated. That's what Homer Simpson like pops ex-wife. in. You're like my ex-wife. I lost everything to that bitch. You ain't taking my SG-1 team. <laughs> that's when... Um... Where did I go with that? What accent is that? <laughs> I mean, I was going to be polite Hit and not the make fun of it. But, uh, Fuck it. That's when Homer Simpson walks in the door and just goes, Oh, how convenient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he totally called her out on that. That was pretty good. It was a pretty good Homer. Yeah, thanks. I think it's the first comment I've ever gotten from Brendan. No. <laughs> nice yeah. dick. Was yeah. <laughs> That's was exactly what I was thinking. Oh, mate. It, yeah, it was like we're related. It photographs very well. I'll have you know. <laughs> the camera adds two inches. <laughs> no, mate. The camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it all works. It all works. Are um, we going to acknowledge the elephant in the room for this episode? Sorry, I put my pants back on. <laughs> The inscription says, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, who did he read that out to? It was... A, it was oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I... When he said that he was with great power, and I'm like, obviously, he's not going to say... Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He said great yeah. The other side says, Spider-Man. Now, was anyone else in the room, though? Was anyone else in the room? Yeah, Anise. because he... he no, was... but like, other than, other than no. her. No. Because I, 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 for some this. reason, I was, in my mind, I'm like, okay, someone going to reference... That it's a Spider-Man thing. Like, is mm. he? Is they going to play a joke on that? Otherwise, like, that's one of like, uh, that's a pretty iconic line in pop culture. Mm. Yeah. yeah, really iconic, and you know where it's from, really. Like, yeah. especially if you're watching the show, you know that's from Spider-Man, and for them just to include that when it's a pretty generic quote, really, with great power comes great responsibility. You can you could turn that, you could flip it, 
God, hit up a thesaurus, you know, and, and come I mean, up with something else. I mean, well, all she does I is keep... she adds to the end of it. Like, she's yeah. apparently on the other side, there's someone, which yeah. none of us remember what it was because mm. it's so forgettable. Mm. But, yeah, it's like, that's what you remember. Had you, know who gonna say, you know who I'm going to blame Peter for that? Parker was here. Robert C. Cooper. That's, his, that's his fingerprint on this. <laughs> he's, that's his not rewrite. Bl- not blaming you, David Rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, what Marvel do is they rip off stuff, so I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't original. Oh, oh please. <laughs> They probably ripped it off DC character. Oh, that no phrase doubt. has been around for decades, mate. Yeah. It didn't, yeah, it didn't, originate, it up. didn't originate in the Sam Raimi movie. Jesus. It's been in the comics for a long time. We didn't say that, mate. We said, said Marvel, Marvel stole it in like the 60s, you know, when they invented Spider Man and Stan Lee. The was it f- in The Art of War? <laughs> God of War. That's right. Christopher Judge yeah. said it. God of War. Yeah. Hey, um, I did have a bit of a throwback to um, something we spoke about ages ago, and Brendan kind of gave me a confused puppy look about it when um, I mentioned it a couple of seasons ago, was the term flanging. We do what's called flanging on the uh, the toker and the gould. The uh, flange is a, is a post-production thing that happens in uh, in sound studio. Yeah. Essentially what we do is we electronically enhance the voice. Uh, it makes the, the gould and the toker sound more powerful. So, yeah, that must be subconsciously where I got the name, like the word flange from, mm, and I've yeah. just sort of picked it up and, and kept using it. But um, I think so, it's yeah. a plumbing part, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Yep. Also on um, truck motors, you can have a flange. I just when O'Neill was bench pressing, uh, Tilk said it's approximately six hundred pounds. So for the metric person in me, that's because you're, you're so good at math. We've established. Absolutely, I am. Yeah, it's two hundred and seventy-two point one five kilograms. <laughs> just top of your head. Just what off, else is boring? Just off the top of the dome. That's impressive, though. That's a. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's done all right. Mm. The metric. Uh, fan inside of you and the rest of the world yeah it's only American oh, yeah. that's one of my favourite things to do is, is convert pounds to kilograms it's yeah you know that's, that's, pe- that's, pounds, sorry mate pounds that's, to dollars I mean someone says hey it's Saturday, Saturday night do you want to go out and I'm like nah mate sorry I'm on conversion.com just <laughs> punching yeah. figures who asked you let's that? not go back to last week where we listened to 90 seconds of two Star Trek characters fighting about who slurps when they eat soup <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, that's gold. <laughs> Conversion. I'm still regretting that 90 seconds I wasted in my still, life. Still better than four seasons of Arrow. Oh. Well, I mean, that's, that's, They're on par. But again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not forcing anyone to listen to it through a Stargate podcast. Any person who brings Arrow to the chat is you, Matty. Don't upset me. Conversion.com. Sounds boring, doesn't it? Oh, hey, it's our sponsor of the week. for me. I love it. <laughs> Don't look. Don't actually. Don't anyone go to conversion.com because I don't actually know what it is. It's probably um. So, it's probably a religious website yeah. where they try to make you not gay. And you don't want to give them hits. So like, on, yeah. Just, uh... Uh, just one thing from the start of the episode, and at at the risk of going off into a tangent, like we did, I think about a season ago. But like, you know, we we saw uh, what two weeks ago the the season premiere. Carter has come back. When, when was it when she come back with like her hair was all like. Like it was like, oh, you've got a new haircut, and they like changed. They they subtly changed between seasons. Like characters yeah, that, was had, this, that was this, this season. season, right? Yeah, yeah it was so this it was season. Nemesis and small victories. Yeah, yeah. So they come back, and um, I I, I thought that with this, like, it's not like she's went back to the old look. Like her hair is crazy all the time. Like she's literally just walked mm. through. Someone's, so hot. Like, oh yeah, she, yeah, yes, yeah. Yep, I approve. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, is that a real military look, or no. now because you're no. SG one, you've been like, you've saved the planet three or four times, you can just get away with whatever hairstyle no. you want. Add- it, it, oh, it, she got a promotion, mate. Well, there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, at the risk of getting yelled at by Reese again, we're talking about Carter's hair. Mm. Um, this <laughs> is kind Careful. of this is where they. Like, it's what we were talking about, and you said, "Oh, that's boring." This, yeah, like, well, it still it's not is. Actually. It's still fucking is. This is no, where they kind of get. This it's is, not. This is where they kind of get in trouble from their military advisors and say, God, that, that would be on. That hair isn't regulation. Yeah. So they give her, I think by the end of the season, she has this horrible boy haircut. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Oh, this hair. season? End of this season. Oh, wow. Like, okay. The light and, um, what is it? Uh, entity at the end of this season. A, I of think the... that was her choice because she's rocking that now. No, she's got like long brown hair. She now. cut it. Yeah. No, it that's up. Doc Fraser. <laughs> she's cut it pretty recently. I oh. oh, I just saw a convention video recently and she had the long brown. Maybe, oh. Maybe funny, she's coming was, back. She's I've coming been, back as Carter. And that's the giveaway. Boom. Stargate's back, guys. I've been watching, <laughs> um, I've been watching Travelers, Brad Wright's new series Travelers. on Netflix. <laughs> He's got a couple of seasons out. Um, Amanda Tapping is directs a couple episodes, a few episodes, really? and she stars in a few episodes. Yeah. Awesome. And she's, she's, also got, she's got the short blonde hair. Oh, really? She's mm. directing Supernatural too at the moment. Mm. Yeah. 
Good story. And she's going to direct the new Stargate series. Origins hey. Part 2. Yeah. Actually, something we forgot to mention um, last weekend, the week before, is the start of Season 4 is actually when Joseph Malozzi uh, joined Stargate. So he's the guy that's 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 yeah. spearheading the Stargate, Hashtag Stargate Now, the Stargate now um, sort of movement. He actually joined the show in Small Victories. Oh, we're right behind you there, mate. Boom. And also, he co-wrote one of the best episodes, Window of Opportunity. Oh, that's coming up soon. Mm. And that's coming up pretty soon. The other thing I wanted to mention was we spoke about some special effects with the force field effect. Were they running into the force field? Oh, yeah. Mm. That was pretty cool. Apparently, what they did was, talking about saran wrap before, or cling wrap, throwing it into the hoop. Apparently, yep. they just stretched a whole bunch of cling wrap out. Across over the, the hall. Yeah, they went over to um, Craft Service. Yeah. Um, the cling wrap that covers the big... And Richard uh, Dean just run run into the cling wrap yeah. and fallen back. Because I saw his nose squish. I'm like, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So that's all they did. And then obviously keyed over with the, blew over it. With the effect. Just, yeah. cool. just to show you what you're missing out on, Reese. that's what Amanda Tapping looks like with long brown hair. Yeah, she um, looks good. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm about it. Well, I'm like <laughs> 20 years older than what you're currently watching, but still. Mm. We'll be able to tell, mate. Still good. Mm. I like her personality, personally. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So if you haven't seen Travelers, get onto it. Travelers. It's uh, it's actually very well written, noticeably well written. Is that that's on Netflix, yeah? Yeah. Or Netflix Australia, yeah. It's yeah. got um the guy from Will and Grace in it, doesn't it? Eric? It does. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Main I, character. I think it's on my like to watch list. I just haven't. Uh, uh, and you oh, can catch um, Robert C. Cooper. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's re- he's actually writing on. Dirk's Gently, I think it's called. Dirk Gently. Oh, Dirk yeah, Gently. it makes sense because I've never heard of and it. And you know why it makes like sense? Because it just got cancelled. Well. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. Did it really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to Go bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is episode 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrades of Get Into <laughs> Gates. We will be back next week. Episode 70. We're talking some crossroads next week. Hey, Mitch. Yeah. What, what's happening next week? What on is Saga happening? SG1? Are you talking about on the next Stargate SG-1? Yeah, what, what's on the next Stargate SG-1? Next time on Stargate SG-1. Identify yourself. I am Shonok of the Red Hills. A woman Shoot from that Tilt's bitch. past. She's a temple priestess. Returns with a discovery. I have found a way to communicate with my symbiote. That could save his race from extinction. I have information that could destroy the Goa world. But when old flames are suddenly reignited. I have thought of you every day. Losing you a second time. Old loyalties are threatened. My place is here. Is it? Now, could her gift from the gods... This is my life's work. What if she's telling the truth? ...be part of a plan to tear SG-1 apart? I must take my leave of the SGC. Richard Dean Anderson no, stars... It's not. ...on the next Stargate SG-1. Yeah, too little bitch it tries to run away every five seconds. I always thought it was Daniel trying to do that. Like, like when half a team, like that's just their go-to. Yeah, mm. I'm leaving. No, no, come on, you've said that before. Your yeah. threats mean nothing. Eh, my old job, I used to quit. You know, once every couple of weeks. Every <laughs> <so. laughs> couple of weeks. <laughs> you have to work this weekend. Oh, I quit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back Monday. <laughs> Reese threatens to end his wedding every every now and again, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. That will never change. I'll get married and still threaten to. <laughs> Oh, wedding's off. That's the and that's, the, that's Can you the, clean the toilet? Oh yeah, I'll divorce you. Yeah. <laughs> the celebrants like reading it, it's you just like same, you, you lean over and you whisper sweet nothings. Oh fucking call this off quiet. <laughs> I'm they're, not scared. The fucking car is outside. The healthiest thing you can do in a relationship shit. is just threaten to take the ring back. Yeah. I mean that really just solidifies. Well, that only works until you get married. Like you say that I can divorce, but that's a lot of Effort. It's paperwork. It's a lot, it's of, paperwork. A lot of paperwork. Well, then I won't get divorced. I'll just leave. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. I never thought of that. I have to change my name. <laughs> Hashtag fathers. Let's catch that next week on uh, episode 70 of Get Into Gate. In the meantime, you can catch us on the socials Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just uh, hit up Get Into Gate, a Stargate podcast. Uh, myself, Mitch underscore Lewis. Let's talk some gate, Twitter, and Instagram. Matty. At High Pitch Maddie on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan. I'm at the Brendan Gibson on Twitter. And I am at the Flying Gibson. Nice work, boys. We'll be back next week. More Tokra action. Woo! Crossroads next week, Hell episode yeah. 70. Whoop, More whoop, nice. whoop, whoop. And hey, Brendan, we should say two days, mate. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Hey? Absolutely. A young 24, hey? Ha! Absolutely. All, this, all that you've achieved. 32 in the 30s. Both in our 30s. All in our 30s.
Can we birthday present? After. <laughs> you will have to go and take <laughs> it out it. of his pants. It'll be my other eye. The cool eye. Straight in the cool eye. Check out my plan. Small victories, guys. Blow out your brief candle. Get into geek.com.